Well, good day everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are doing a meatloaf video. I was called out by Ed at Southern Life Homestead and also while I'm at it, I'm going to enter into the meatloaf wars. Hashtag meatloaf wars. As you can see, I've got my lovely little assistant with me today. So this will be fun. Um, hopefully I won't finish cooking at midnight tonight. Yeah, there's the doggy. And also I've got the dogs running around on the ground, so let's give it a go and get into it. Alright, we're going to start with the filling. We've got uh, about six medium sized onions. We're just going to add uh, about a third of a cup of olive oil to it. And a good sprinkle of salt. Um, I'm adding the salt because I don't want it to brown off. Uh, there's probably about a teaspoon of salt there and we're just gonna heat it up and just keep stirring it we just want to break down those onions okay now we're at the stage that the onions are broken down we're gonna add two-thirds cups of brown sugar and also two-thirds cups of balsamic vinegar Okay, we'll just stir that in, and then we're going to just keep stirring it, uh, keep it on a low heat, and we're just going to reduce it down to a jam-like consistency. Okay, there you go. You can see we're nice and jammy now. When we scrape it off the bottom, no liquid's running back over it. So that's perfect. We'll just cool it down now. Okay, now the meatloaf itself. So we're going to start with... Uh, one kilo or two pounds of pork mince and then another kilo or two pounds of beef mince and to that we're going to add our spices so I've got two tablespoons of paprika one tablespoon of salt and one teaspoon of ground pepper Next we're going to put in oh, about three tablespoons of garlic. Okay, here I have a yellow bell pepper and another red onion that have been grated finely. Um, I wanted to grate them finely because I want the flavour in there, but I don't want big chunks of vegetables in it. I think it comes out cleaner if it's just flavour and not chunks. Then we're adding in two eggs. And then I'm going to add a, about a quarter of a cup of Sweet Baby Ray's Original. Uh, this is what I'm going to baste it with later, so having the flavour in the meatloaf as well as on the meatloaf is going to help it. Okay, and then about a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. Okay, now it's time to get our hands dirty and start mixing it all together. Okay, onto two sheets of what should be baking paper, but ended up being greaseproof paper because someone bought me the wrong thing at the shop. Just going to spread it out in a big sort of square shape. Okay, and then goes on our first secret ingredient, uh, fresh mozzarella. Um, this is a fresh mozzarella, not a grated one. Uh, it comes out in a brine and just has that little bit more flavour. So we're just layering that all up. Okay, next up we're going to put our jam on. As you can see at this stage after it's cooled off it's nice and thick and gooey and absolutely delicious. So we're just going to spread that out all over and then you just smudge it all flat. Okay, 
Okay, next we're at the rolling stage, and also when I discover I've got the wrong paper to use, but eh, I couldn't get any more today anyway. So we're just going to roll it all up. And peel back that nice and soppy wet paper, and then we're just going to put it on a board. And so we'll smooth that all out while it's on the board and then pop it in the fridge so it can chill down and relax. Okay, about half an hour of resting later, we're just going to spray down a, a rack which is resting on a tray. And then we're going to transfer the meatloaf onto that. And just mind the little helper's fingers that are in the way. No, fingers out. And here we go with the meatloaf. Just putting it on the centre of the rack. And my lovely daughter Tina was over at this stage. So she helped to keep things steady for me. <laughs> and also started bossing me around and telling me how to do it. So unwanted advice aside, we're all set on the tray and out we go to the smoker. That's right folks, secret ingredient number two is some applewood smoke uh, we're cooking it on the smoker just to add a nice depth of flavor to it and as you can hear tina's still giving me advice on how i should do it so into the smoke we go and we're going to sit in there for half an hour just to develop some smoke around the meatloaf okay and here we go secret ingredient number three and this one is the topper uh, we are gonna wrap the meatloaf in bacon what could be better than a bacon wrapped meatloaf um, and this is why it's a down under meatloaf it's the meatloaf is down underneath the bacon so I yeah this is the this is the winner Okay, our meatloaf's had the half hour of smoking time and I'm just going to come in and cover it with the bacon at this stage. Okay, and we're just tucking the edges of the bacon in underneath. Just making it all nice and neat and pretty and presentable. So here we are about another half hour later. Um, just wanted to let some of that applewood smoke come up through the bacon. Um, now I'm running on a really low temperature. I'm running at about 125 Celsius, so just over 250 Fahrenheit. Um, and we are just slathering on the baby rays to baste it up. So, yep, that's the Baby Ray's original. Okay, folks, and here is our final product. I mean, have a look at that for luscious deliciousness. Uh, bacon coated with a mozzarella and onion jam center. Barbecue sauce glaze on it smoked it is absolutely the bomb and you can see that nice smoke ring around the outside of the meat and yeah this stuff is golden and of course no cooking video is complete without a taste test so we're just gonna nip a corner off there and have a taste and this stuff is 
the greatest meatloaf you will ever meet. Um, as I said, it ticks all the boxes. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Uh, please hit the like, hit the subscribe, and hit that little bell notification so you know when I've got further videos coming out. That will be very much appreciated. Again, thank you very much for watching, and bye for now.